Morning guys, it's Chris your YouTube Daddy here. Well, I'm in an interesting place here today. I'm in a churchyard, which is nothing new for me, because you know how me and Karen like going around churchyards. Uh, and we've ended it, we're in the Tampa. And I've ended up in a showman's association churchyard. It's a greater Tampa showman's association. So, for those of you who don't know what showmen are, showmen are a part of the showmen's guild who uh, do travelling fairs and travelling circuses and stuff like that. So, they, they're part of the guild, they're born into it. So, even though, so you have a lot of showmen, for instance, in Blackpool who were on the fairs and have relocated. Uh, Peter Sedgwick, for instance, he's a, he's a showman, and there's quite a few people in Blackpool who are a showman who have relocated. Now, so they've got arcades, they've got piers, they've got pubs, they've got lots of different things, uh, but they started off on fairgrounds. Now, you can be born into a showman's guild, but you can't join it. Now, even though I work in the tourist industry and I've got an arcade in Blackpool, I could never be a showman. So you have to be born into that because those of you don't know what a showman in the showman's guild is. But this seems to be a mausoleum that's dedicated to showmen. I've never seen this before. I said, we're in Tampa. So here's the first part of it. And they're strange because they, uh, they bury people slightly different here. You've got your normal, regular churchyard over there, which we'll have a walk at in a second. But each person has their own, uh, I don't know what you would, you could crypt maybe. And behind there is where they put the coffin. And this seems to be they, they, all, they seem to be all different faiths, but this seems to be uh, dedicated to people in the Showman's Guild. Which is very interesting in itself. I think it's only this part of the graveyard. I think the rest of the graveyard is standard graveyard, because the rest of the graveyards are normally designated into separate areas, Jewish, Catholic, Church of England, Baptist, etc. But this part appears to be Showman's Association or the Showman's Guild. Now, I don't know. Now, if anybody knows much more about the Showman's Guild than I do, is the Showman's Guild over here the same one as the one we have back in England? Is it one big Showman's Guild throughout the world? I'm not 100% sure, but I'm assuming that it is. And we've got other uh, markers here. So this was uh, Tony A. Stevens, passed away in 1962, 1974. So I'm assuming these ones here are all the ones in the Showman's Guild, as I said. And then if we step over the wall, I'm just being careful not to step on anybody's grave, we've got your more conventional ones. I'll just stand there. Here's another one, 1962, 1962, 1962. And then over here appears to be your more conventional graves well this these are Jew, jewish graves as you can see by the uh the star of david on them right and there's another thing which you'll see on Jewish graves, which is something I didn't know until I was in uh, Poland. 
the stones. People put stones on top of uh, Jewish graves. Now, it's something to do with remembering the dead. So, obviously, the ones with the stones on are the ones where they've still got relatives. Now, this, obviously, here is a new one. This person passed away in 2021. So, you would assume the ones that have got the stones on are the people who've still got living relatives. Like that one there, for instance. Uh, the one passed away in 1984, the other one in 2010. And you can see the stones on top of them. Now, I'm not 100% sure what that's meant to symbolise, but I think it's to do with remembering uh, the deceased. So we're obviously in the Jewish segment of the graveyard, as I said. Another one there, the first person, Sam passed away in 1974. And next door is someone who passed away in 2000. And then the older ones here, passed away in 1971. There doesn't appear to be any stones on them. Now you would assume because there's no living relatives. That's just an assumption. But I assume that's why the stones are on some of them and not on all of them. There's one there with some stones on. They passed away in 1999. There's one with quite a lot of stones on there. Who passed away 2017. Next one, 2014. There's one here with a picture on. Just to share the picture. Uh, so born in 1954 and passed away in 2000. photo of him there. It's a very peaceful uh, graveyard, but all the graveyards in America are always peaceful anyway. So, so far, we've got the one over there, which is the showman's graveyard. This one here is obviously the Jewish graveyard. And we've got a graveyard over there as well. I don't quite know how I can get to that one. That one looks Church of England kind of Protestant type of uh, religion. And over there were the angels that could be Catholic. You can generally tell the Catholics have a lot of angels memorial stones. We can see the size of the churchyard. It's absolutely massive. There's another one with a uh, lady's photograph, 1938 to 1994. That lady passed away. The one passed away in 2015, the other 2003. As you can see, Obviously, people are actively coming here and visiting because there's still stones on these ones. You 
can also see on the gate. I'll just walk over to the gate. It's ancient. Now this one must be a recent one. Yes, this is a recent one because they haven't put the uh, the stone down yet. You can see the white flag markers, which is showing you where the actual burial site is. And this person was buried. August 2023. Now, obviously, this hasn't had the uh, the gravestone laid yet. Hence, why we've got the white markers because they have to leave it for so long for the uh, the earth to settle. There's a metal plaque there. 1980. Max US Army, World War II, 1907 to 1980. So he would have been 73 when he passed. So he was a, uh, a World War II veteran. There's another gentleman who passed away in 1986, and there's a photograph of him there. I do think it's really good when they uh, they put photographs on the graves, so people can remember them. As I was saying, as you come into the churchyard, You can see the Star of David on the gates as well. Someone passed there in 2002, 2003. US Air Force, 1933 to 2013. This one, there's pictures of the whole family, 2003, 2002, 2010, 2013. So this must be a whole family. And the lady here passed away in 2013. Very glamorous lady there. So I'm just going to pop the, uh, the camera over the fence so we can have a look at the nest of the churchyard. Two thousand and eight, two thousand and eight, two thousand and three. So this seems to be, <coughs> as churchyards go, a very modern churchyard. Because even when I look over there, the graves seem to be uh, quite modern. And there's some tombs above ground over there. So yeah, this definitely seems a very modern graveyard, this does. We're about to say, we're in Tampa, and we're about four miles from Bush Gardens. If that gives you any kind of indication where we are. I will check up on the uh, internet before I upload this, what churchyard I'm at, and I'll put it in the description if you want to check out that churchyard. But what I'm fascinated about is the showman's part of the churchyard because I've never seen that before 
So I think we'll go back over there. That's where my car's parked anyway. Yeah, again, reasonably modern. 2004 and 2005. So we'll go back over to the showman side of it because that's the bit that's intriguing me. 2004. 1954, 
1955, 55. So we do have some older ones here, but not old, old, which you normally see in a lot of churchyards, 58, 1960, 1960, 1957, 61, 61, 61, 62. So what I'll do guys is I will do a little bit of research on this as well, 1977, to find out this whole area where I am here is uh, designated for just showmen or show people. Let's get politically correct now. Okay then guys, that's your first churchyard tour. If you like this video, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you do have any answers to the questions, are the showmen here the same as the showmen back at home? And is this churchyard, this part I'm in here, just for the showmen association? It would appear to be with the sign over there and with the plaque that's here and the way it's all walled in. And the next section over there is your Jewish segment. Okay, as I said, if you like this video, Hit that like button guys and don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching and tell me if you like this type of content because obviously this isn't the type of content that i normally do i have done a few like this before but i don't normally do content like this but we've managed to uh dump the kids and the grandchildren off the bush gardens so me and karen have come round to have a look round and do a few churchyards we got a few hours to kill while we're in tampa and I do like history. Thanks a lot for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later, guys.